President Obama, he wants to change the way that the Social Security cost of living adjustment is calculated. It would mean a smaller annual increase for recipients. Joining us now, James Martin of the 60 Plus Association. That's the conservative alternative to the AARP. And very welcome on this program, Mr. Martin. Welcome back. Hello, sir. Thanks. Glad to be back with you. Right. What do you think of this change in the way that the Social Security cost of living is adjusted every year? What do you make of it? Well, uh, they're tweaking Social Security and they're taking it out of the pockets of seniors again. Why don't they fix it for the long term instead of tweaking it? Look, the COLA, there wasn't even a COLA for a couple of years in a row. Now it's projected at about 1.7% for next year. But under this change that they're proposing, it'll be lower. Now, we think that seniors should not be paying the price for the malfeasance of the government's overspending through all these years. That's a fair point, sir. Uh, in, in, in oppo as opposed to a COLA change, do you just want to see a higher retirement age? Would you go for that? Well, there's already a higher retirement age right now on the books, but yeah, quite but frankly, you know what uh, I mean. that, that's not... You know, you yeah, know what I, I mean. I we, we are living longer. Surely you can get behind a change in the retirement age some years down the road. Can you do that? Stuart, I propose that on principle. They ought to fix Social Security and Medicare for the long haul and start, instead of just always tinkering with it and raising the retirement age. Well, does that mean uh, a tax increase, James? I mean, uh, that a tax increase? Is that how you fix it? No. Uh, the fact of the matter is you go to the private markets. Look, Social Security was demagogued by the Democrats for 50 years when I came here as a reporter some 50 years ago. Goldwater was handed his head when he mentioned Social Security structural reform. Now it's Medi-Scare, if you will. And the Democrats right now are saying they may go along with... Um, the president on this chain CPI uh, COLA uh, proposal, but the fact is they say they've promised they won't touch Social Security. They've paid lip service to that for 50 years, Stuart, and seniors are tired of it. They've been stealing out of that Social Security trust fund for 50-some years. Well, you're, you're Look, right. let, me make the, let me make this point. If the, Obama, the senior citizens voted overwhelmingly against President Obama, and if they ever wonder why, they ought to stop and think about what seniors, whether it's uh, taxes on seniors. There are huge taxes are coming January the 1st, mainly on senior citizens, whether it's a tax on uh, medical devices, tax on uh, uh, dividends, tax on um, capital gains, tax on Medicare itself, tax on dying. There's a tax on, uh, on estates, tax on dying. It was imposed, by the way, to finance World War I, which I think has been over a few years. <laughs> okay. So don't raise taxes, don't extend the retirement age on Social Security. No, you want to privatize it. Let the markets work to accumulate more money for, for seniors in retirement. Okay, that's it? Well, that's what you want? Truth of the matter is, yes, I want to personalize it. Allow, yeah. allow folks you know, to have some personal control of their financial President destiny. President Bush supported that. President Bush came full square and said, yeah, let's do this. He had a plan. It never came up for a vote. He got no support, amongst, absolutely not amongst Democrats, and very little amongst uh, Republicans. It's not going to happen. Truth, truth of the matter is, the AARP, the Association Against Retired Persons, spent 25 to 30 million of our tax dollars demagogue in that issue, scaring seniors, talking about it was a risky return. The risk on the return is if you don't do something about Social Security for the long haul. Look, Stuart, the problem in Washington is not taxes, it's overspending. We call it, it the 7-Eleven syndrome. You know, the president gets $7 to spend, but he spends, uh, uh, but he spends $11. That's a good line, James Martin. That is a good line. I, I, I'm going to use that. I'm going to steal it right off you. James Martin, 60 plus. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, sir. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Feel free to use it. Thank you, sir. I will. <laughs> All right. Where, where is the price of gold this morning?